Hi, this is JP from No The Lights Over Arkham. Welcome to another Eye of Chaos episode and let's just begin right away and determine which uh, investigator will be our uh, unlucky investigator on this run. So let's see, I'm again doing a good shuffle to my token bag where I have all the investigator tokens I have. Uh, so let's see what we get. And this time we are playing uh, Nathaniel Cho, so that will be an interesting run. Uh, we probably won't have problems dealing with the enemies, but uh, getting those clue tokens will be a real chore for Nathaniel Cho. So let's hop over to ArkhamDB.com and see what kind of chaos deck we can build. Okay, and we are over on ArkhamDB.com and uh, let's just search for Nathaniel Cho. There he is. And uh, let's go right into it and push the chaos button to see what kind of deck we get. Hoping to get at least something for investigating, but not having high hopes. So, okay, <laughs> first off, at least we got double boxing gloves so that is a really good good uh, stroke of luck uh, right there uh, then we have uh, 45 automatic probably not gonna play that two, two copies of french knife oh yeah we have also two copies of the uh, of those weapons so those are useless if we just get the boxing gloves we get the backpack so okay well at least if we get that we we have a lot of assets here or item assets, apparently. Uh, then we have Heavy Purse. Well, not the bad, worst card. And then we have one copy of Beat Cop for the allies. One copy of Gret Wagner. Well, this we really want to see because this will help us um, get clues. Then uh, Enchant Enchanted Blade. Um, uh, not liking this for Nathaniel. Physical training is good for Nathaniel. Safeguard in a true solo game is useless. Solemn Woe in a true solo game is useless. Uh, then we have events. Only six events. So this is re looking really bad. So probably we don't want to play the boxing gloves. So we have Counter Punch. A good card for Nathaniel. Dynamite Blast. Not usually in Daniel. Uh, Nathaniel, I mean. Uh, two copies of uh, emergency cash, so at least we have the resource cards all we need. Uh, two copies of Hand of Fate, not liking this one. Uh, one copy of Desperate Sir, so we have 10 skills. Inspiring Presence, not really good. Interpret, okay, at some situations. Uh, manual Dexterity might be useful. Uh, two copies of Reckless Assault, so. Uh, this is probably not needed, so those will be dead draws. Uh, say your prayers, no. Uh, steadfast, vicious blow, and <laughs> dreading the weakness. Let's see what we get. Nihilism, the, maybe the softest weakness there is, so at least there's something. But we have zero clue tech, and uh, Nathaniel only has... Uh, Two intellects, so this will probably not go really good. Uh, but maybe, well, we'll at least annihilate the uh, mass counter at least. So, well, that that is a really interesting deck. Um, no clue tech, all the fighting tech we need for enemies that are plenty in this scenario. But I'll build the deck uh, and we'll see how this goes, so let's get started. Okay, let's get this show on the road, so uh, we have built the deck and zero clue tech, so let's see what, what will happen, so let's start by drawing our opening hand. We get uh, 45 automatic, Hand of Fate, Reckless Assault, Hand of Fate, Dynamite Blast. We'll just chuck those, 1, 2, 3, 
four. Safeguard, backpack, vicious blow, rand oak choke. Okay. Um, well, it is what it is. Uh, at least we can chuck Randall Cho for an investigation action to get this clue. I'm not gonna play Randall for sure. Okay. Uh, we have everything shuffled. We are ready to begin. So we'll first off play the 45 automatic. Just so we have a weapon ready. So, for ammo onto this, we'll even, we don't even need to use it, and except if we are fighting multiple wound enemies. Second action, we'll investigate, we'll use uh, Commit Randall Cho to the test, so 4 versus 2. It is a minus 2, no cultists in play, so we don't play the Doom, we'll grab this clue. And we'll move to River Town. And that is our turn. No enemies in play, so we'll go to upkeep. We draw a card, Hand of Fate, and we gain a resource. So a fast first turn. Oh yeah, there's one clue here and one Shroud of One. So we have a chance to try to get this clue next round. But that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add a Doom, the first encounter card is a locked door. Well, at least we can uh, do a strength check to break this door, which we will do. And uh, I'll commit the hand, uh, we are 5, we'll go 6 versus 4. Okay, and we get a minus one, so we break the door in. We really, we really need to get this easy clue here. Second action, we'll investigate. Two versus one. Not liking the chances. It is a zero, so we got lucky, we got this clue. Last action, we'll spend the clues to get an... Um, get the cultist. It is Herman Collins, so we'll just go and shoot him. Shoot him next round. We don't have the cards to defeat him. So, uh, no enemy actions. We'll go to upkeep. Uh, we get the boxing gloves and we gain a resource. So now we actually have four cards in hand, which we don't probably end up playing. So I think we'll just chuck those. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add a Doom, and counter card is on Wings of Darkness, so testing uh, 4 versus, uh, I mean 2 versus 4, so probably failing this. It is a 0, but we still fail, so we take 1 damage and 1 horror. Can't be avoided, but we don't move because we are at the central location already. First action, we'll move to the graveyard. Easy clues here also. Uh, we'll take the test. Uh, 3 versus 3. It is another 0. So we pass. We don't take the horror. Uh, we'll parlay. We'll discard these 4 cards. I put Herman Collins into the victory display. We're actually making some headway with uh, Nathaniel Cho here. So last action we'll investigate, 2 versus 1, and now that I said that we are not getting a single clue, probably, well it's an Elder Sign, so it's a plus 1, so the luck of Nathaniel Cho continues. So uh, that was our last action, no enemies, we'll go to upkeep, we draw a card, Inspiring Presence, which has a, a intellect icon, and we gain a resource, so that is that round, let's go to the next round. We add another Doom, 3 of 6, Encounter card is Mysterious Chanting. So, I will just search for a Cultist, because we can just obliterate it by punching. 
and we spawn it to River Town, which we will move after we get this last clue from here. Uh, it comes into play with one room on it. Mm, we'll put this marker over here. First action will investigate Alchemy the inspiring presence. So we are three versus one. Zero, we grab this clue. Second action will move here. Last action will just punch five versus two, uh, five versus three. Really quick turns with Nathaniel here. So it's a minus one, but it is still enough, so we punch this guy out. And that is the uh, turn. We'll go to upkeep, no enemy, so upkeep, we draw a card, hand of fate, and we gain a resource. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add a doom. Four of six encounter card is Crypt Chill. Well, we'll commit the hand of fate. So we are four versus four. In we are in the risk of losing our weapon. Minus one, so we lose our weapon. Of course we do. Uh, that sucks because we really wanted to keep this weapon for the mass counter, but I think we just need to slug it out with the mass counter then. Well, uh, first action, we'll spend the clues to see what we get from the deck. This Wolfman Drew, which we can handle by just punching, but it will take a bit time. So, second action, uh, we'll move to East Town. Uh, we'll just mark Wolfman Drew to downtown. And last action, we'll try to investigate two versus two here. Actually, I'm, I won't even bother. I'll just draw a card. So, emergency gas. So, that is that round. No enemy actions will go to upkeep. We draw another emergency gas and we gain a resource. So, uh, we really need a weapon, but of course we are not drawing any. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add another Doom. Five of six encounter card is Crypt Chill. Well, we'll shuffle this deck. So we'll just test three versus four and take the damage. Minus two, we take uh, two damage. So we have three damage taken. Okay, so I'll just uh, try to find a weapon, so we'll draw a card. Tommy Malone. Second action, we'll hit Tommy. Uh, five versus two. We deal no damage. Last action, we'll hit Tommy. Five versus two. Zero, we'll deal a damage. In the enemy phase, Tommy hits us for two damage. Nothing else happens. Uh, we'll go to upkeep, we draw a card, uh, reckless assault, and it gain a resource. We really need to find a weapon, but that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add a doom, so the agenda advances, which means the mass counter is upon us, and there's nothing we can do about it. So the mass counter engages us, uh, it has Six health, so it will take a forever to beat it, but nothing we can do. We'll just have to see what we can do. So we still get an encounter card, and it is Hunting Shadow, so we take two damage because we don't have clues. Uh, we have, uh, oh dear, I think this is the end of the game, so we have five, six, seven. 7 damage on us. So, I think this round will just defeat Tommy Malloy. Tommy Malloy and uh, re uh, resign because uh, we will die for the, to the hits of the mass counter. So, I will hit Tommy once. 5 versus 2. Minus 4. Hit it twice. 5 versus 2, minus 4, resign. So that was a quick game, like the quickest game ever, but it is what it is. So 
We got one uh, cultist into the victory display and we got the graveyard victory point. So only two victory points and uh, it went pretty uh, like I expected it to. We didn't have any clue tech in the deck. We had a couple of cards that had uh, intellect icons to help us investigate like, well, this is out of the question. Uh, Great Wagner, we would have wanted to see the inspiring presences actually had the will intellect icon, so yeah, <laughs> uh, nothing really to s really interesting to say about this uh, fade through. Uh, Nathaniel Cho is not a clue getting investigator, he basically is a fighting investigator, and now uh, he didn't get that many. Um, fighting or spirit events into the deck that would have helped us fight better. Uh, we got we a bunch of weapons which we didn't draw any at any point of the game except uh, in the start. It, in the start we got uh, 45 automatic into play but Cryptil uh, with us off of that. So with the 45 automatic we could have fought the Mask Hunter but of course we drew Tommy Malloy, which uh, ended up uh, taking all our health. And the uh, Hunting Shadow also was uh, annoying because it dealt 2 damage, which meant we had to resign this round or get defeated. But that is a Chaos deck for you. Um, you never know how well this can go. Uh, we were doing pretty well until the moment we got Tommy Malloy in play and lost our weapon, but it is what it is. So hope you guys like this playthrough. Thanks for watching and until next time.